Oh, bless. Oh, it's feeding. <laughs> the bloody lamb's feeding. While his mum or her mum is getting out of the way. <laughs> Right, so here we are on uh, the road from Massum to Middleham. And I think what we're going to do, got VFR Mitch behind me on his Himalayan. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go through, um, we're going to go through Middleham and West Whitton. And uh, on the Halls Road, then we're going to peel off and take the Kettlewell Road up past the Street Head Inn, if any of you are familiar with that route. So basically, I'll uh, leave the cameras running. It's a cracking route. Uh, certainly, uh, certainly, once you get on that Kettlewell Road, that's uh, an absolute belter. And if you do want to come out this way and uh, do this particular run, just get this end to Massum. Get yourself to Massum. From Massum, take the Middleham Road. And uh, basically, when you come out of Massum Marketplace, you just need to sort of go straight forward, take a left fork, and join the join the. Uh, Middleham Road and it's left to Middleham or right to Ripon and uh, that'll bring you onto this road there we are coming into Middleham and uh, from here onto uh, either Kettlewell or onto Halls both cracking routes take your pick Right, now then, so, heads up, I was fully anticipating to be able, before very long, to give you a review of the new CF Moto 450MT, because um, lots of you good people out there have been asking me to, to cover that bike. And I would ordinarily be able to do so because uh, Apple Yards are a CF Moto dealership. However, such is the popularity of that bike and these 800 MTs for that matter, they're sold out. They're sold out and there's no demonstrators anymore. I'm told if you want to buy it now, if you went to order one now, it would be February next year before you could have one. Um, but it looks like there ain't no way on earth that I'm going to get my hands on a 450MT to be able to review it for you. So sorry about that, but there just aren't any out there. And I suppose in a sense that's a, a good thing because it means they are extremely popular. Uh, but it means that uh, if you're uh, really keen on getting a bike like the CF Moto 450 MT, then it looks like you're just going to have to go and buy one on spec. There won't be many places that have a demonstrator, which is a bit of a shame. Let's see if that situation rectifies itself over the ensuing months. Yeah, a bit of a shame that. Likewise with the CF Moto 800 MT, earliest now, if you want one of these, I believe it's December. Again, because demand has outstripped supply, these <coughs> bikes have been flying off the shelves. So of the Chinese brands, and I tend to think mainly of the Chinese brands that do adventure bikes. So I'm sort of thinking four 
Brands really, CF Moto, Benelli, Vosges and Moto Marini. Uh, I, I obviously think that of those four brands, the CF Moto are that bit further ahead. But uh, Bayek, the uh, the Vosges and the Benellis and the uh, Moto Marinis are not that far behind and they represent excellent value for money. And all right, the Chinese made, but you find me something that is not Chinese made, at least in part. Because I can't think of anything. Yeah, so CF Motors proving very, very popular indeed, and uh, it's not hard to see why when you think about what you get for your money. But you can still get your hands on a Benelli TRK702 or 702X with panniers for the time being so you can still get your hands on them and uh, you can certainly get your hands on the Vosges DS525X that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago you can still get your hands on one of them and uh, I had a chat with one of my subscribers at Apple Yards last week and he has traded in his Royal Enfield Supermeter 650 for a Vosges DS525X with luggage and it looks absolutely cock on great looking bike and the thing about it it might only be a 500 cc bike um, but it looks about the size of a an 8 900 cc bike so it's, it's quite physically quite a big bike and uh, the engine on on that bike the uh, Vosges DS 525X it's only 47 brake horsepower but it feels like a lot more and I think back to my Interceptor and Super Meteor 650 each with 47 brake horsepower <laughs> and nowhere near as quick <coughs> as that Vosges nowhere near So that's a great bike if um, you know if your if your budget's round about the uh, six grand mark. Wow, what a lot for your money. noticing with these uh, ear tyres I mean they are still bedding in these ear uh, Metzler Carew 4s they do behave slightly differently on the bends and you have to be a little bit more forthright on the old handlebars <laughs> it's a little bit disconcerting at first I mean they will bed down even further but with 50-50 tyres 
uh, sometimes particularly on these here bigger bikes you just need to be uh, a little bit uh, more aware when uh, you take when you're taking bends on particularly tight bends because they run a little bit differently on the bend but other than that I'm not noticing any more road noise or vibrations than the, the standard tyres that came with this bike And, of course, they look at the part as well. So I think um, I don't want to accessorise this bike too much. I think the uh, the only other thing that I'll be uh, sticking on the bike will be a belly pan, bash plate rather, bash plate sunk guard, SW Motet do one for this bike. So. Uh, I think that'll be the route that I end up going down. Aye, so I'm just going to leave the cameras running now, let you sit back and enjoy the little ride now over the tops and down into Buckden and Kettlewell. So, if you've managed to get this far, thank you so much for your perseverance. And can I implore you, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a penny, not now, not ever. Just uh, click subscribe, and uh, if you would, hit the notifications bell so that you get to know whenever I upload a video, which I endeavour to do at least twice a week on a Thursday and a Sunday, ordinarily um, but what I will say is I will try to confine product reviews if I'm doing a product review I will look to always make that an additional video on a Tuesday so that the uh, normal stuff around uh, beautiful scenic rides in and around the Yorkshire Dales on uh, either this bike or the Moto Guzzi or the uh, Classic 350 they are part and parcel of the uh, main two videos per week on a Thursday and a Sunday so the, uh, the promotional videos, if you like, the kit reviews, the kit reviews will, uh, I'll confine to an, uh, as, as an extra video on Tuesdays. That's the plan. That just seems fair to me. Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, until the next time, and in the meantime, ride safe, be kind. An old city!